Hey guys, and welcome. My name is NG Paradox, and at the moment, we're trying to just finish off Bravos. Well, my vassals are. My vassals are very close to finishing them off. It shouldn't take too long, and they'll be back. Well, not sorry, not back. They will be under the Valerian Empire for the first time, as they always should have been. I've been spending more time with my wife, and our love has grown between us. Both my wives are still alive. Oh, no. Yeah, both my wives are still alive. Ah, marital bliss. He's, you've done a good job, Orion. You know what? Not too bad. We had good wives, not good children, though. My daughter, Lise, practically lives in the kitchen, the little glutton. Ha! Eat and be merry. No, no, I'll be upset about this. Birch her. Talk to her about, would he talk to her or would he birch her? He'd birch her. Birch her! Stop that, you evil child! Don't eat so much. You're going to be the queen one day. I believe one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with factions. Hmm. Is he in one? I prefer the monarchy. He is, but it's kind of a small one. Well, obligate the vassal. I'm authoritative. That is his place. You are right. Very good. So the factions are all basically gone. 100% war score against Bravos. Let's end it. And it is done. Bravos is finally under the Empire. <laughs> I did what no one else ever did. War is ended. Reappoint the council. My young niece has got intricate web weaver. Now, that still doesn't make her very good at much, but it will have to do. They will have to do. Ah, what a shambles when it comes to my kids. We've not been doing very well for them. Arion is just not a good educator, I guess. Darren? Darren's looking a slightly better than the other two, but he's one-legged. I can still force him to train. <laughs> yep, we're going to do it. We're ambitious. We're going to push him no matter what. By forcing my son to fight, I made him a better man. <laughs> okay, he got lustful. I wanted you to get better at fighting, but apparently now you're better at getting the... Oh, his wife is already pregnant. Oh, I'll be my first grandson by my second son. Not my first son. He's inherited the Lodge of Appleton. In fact, now that we've expanded quite a bit, we should probably get new people of interest, the ones surrounding us. So that should probably include these ones. What is the North doing? Is this a war? Are you independent? It looks like the North is now independent. Lord Paramount Jorah of the North, but he's not. It looks like he's staying out of the war, maybe? Yeah. I'm going to assume he's staying out of the war that they declared. Uh, Dawn is not too far away, either. We're going to make people personally interested, the ones who are close by. Prince Peros Martel. Love the little crown. Little sun crown. He's already one. We've got that little adventuring king down there. Hazdan is already one. The Sarno. Did I make you one? Yeah, we did. And the Slaver's Bay. Let's make the rulers of Slaver's Bay characters of interest. And Gis. What is it? Ah. Now, obviously, the Gis obviously will remember us thanks to the destruction of... Wait a second. Gis is no longer a ruin? Huh. If I remember correctly, Gis is a ruin. I'm not sure if they've changed that. And it shouldn't be, because I'm sure Gis is meant to still be a ruin. Huh, I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe that's a glitch, maybe a bug in this scenario. Because remember, this is the one before they released the full version of the mod. So maybe there's a bug or two, maybe. I don't know why that is. That seems a little bit odd. But yes, the war to take them is done. Ah, oh, yes, my son. Now that the, the disease is all gone, maybe we can actually have a wedding feast. I think it's too late, though. Yeah, it's a bit too late to have a wedding feast. Or we'll just have a normal feast. Actually, my other son can have a, a wedding. No, is it oh, too late for both of them? Okay, we'll just have a normal feast then. And we'll just pretend it's a feast for both the weddings and the conquest of Bravos. It's a combination. It's going to be a grand feast. This will make all the vassals love me. Then we can go for Hazdan. Each year to celebrate the founding of the city of Volantis, the chariots race, race side by side on the battlements of the Black Walls. My guests would surely be impressed if I sponsored this year's race as entertainment for my feast. 
Bring me the finest charioteers in Volantis. Yes. Of course. The best pub of Permanent Feast. Lavishly. Uh, we'll invite everyone. Has attracted attention of a young Andal named Sir Harlan Swan. Oh, he's on a foreign tour. This man is currently on a tour of the cities and lands of the region and would like to attend your feast while he is in old, old Volantis. Isn't that nice? You, of course, welcomed my esteemed guests. You can see how properly cultured people like to have parties, Mr. Uh, Andal. Dear Emperor, I thank you for your invitation, but you will not join, of course, from the Roin. Valentina, okay. <gasps> Magister Obello, you're not coming? This guy's not coming in my amen. You're not going to come and handle. So many people aren't coming. Actually, it's not that many as I thought. I thought it would be more. Open the door. Okay, yep, some axe for the feast. This will be the greatest feast. We're going to have lots of money spent on it. Has to be done. Uh, apologies if you can hear that in the background. Apparently, my dog Butter is uh, getting a little bit anxious. Usually, that's a warning something's going to happen on this game. What? I, what is something I've not missed? Am I going to get assassinated? I have no idea. The guests have finally arrived in Ovalantis. Welcome them to the feast. The chariots race upon the black walls. is about to begin. You and the guests watch as six four-horse chariots charge side by side around the great oval of fused black dragon stone. I trust it was a fine spectacle. Has done war. <sighs> I'll have to wait for them to get over their war. The more Pentoshi pale amber wine Vasara drank the more louder he talked, uh, he is disgusting. A disgusting man. Though a renowned physician. Storm singer Jahari spoke up and told everyone how great the food was. Perfect. Uh, has used her attendance at the feast of Old Valance to present a petition for justice before the court. She claims that Illyria Azontone. Which one's that? Okay. She claims that she had her kinsman, Siala murdered, and demands that she is brought to justice for the outrageous crime. Apparently it was true. Apparently we do know she was killed by her. Hmm. Olivia must be arrested and made to answer for this. I will order her to pay recompense. He's clearly not guilty. I think my guy would believe the accusation. He's trusting he's going to believe her. Yeah, we're going to arrest her. We can't have people just going around murdering people. I started talking to one of my guests at the feast and found them most interesting. Hours flew by, wine bottles were emptied, other guests excused themselves and went to bed, but we kept talking until the wee hours. Isn't that lovely? Me and Harlan Swan. He will be the future lord of the Swan Lands. Future lord of the Red Watch. I haven't ever met a more fascinating person. We've become friends. I like that. And I just inherited his lands here. Now, I don't really particularly want Roin lands, um, but it looks as though there's something here. Lord Quentin of Sar Roy died without leaving any blood relative. As clear heir to the Lordship of Sar Ahoy, therefore it falls to you to settle it. I will revert to the Emperor. Quesa, the widow, shall claim it. So do I, do I give it to the widow, the Summer Islander? So that would mean her son would inherit it, and he is from the Summer Islands. It will revert to me. It will revert to the Emperor. It should be. We can't trust her to inherit it. A daughter was born to Prince Darren. So we have Princess Hara, my first granddaughter of our dynasty. But we need to give this piece of land away. Sir Roy. Who do I give it to? Do I give it to someone from my... It's only... It's a small place. It's not like something worthy of a dragon rider. That's the thing. So I don't want to give it to a dragon rider. Maybe we'll give it to Jacob. I didn't make you married. Megan Targaryen. Dickon. We can't give it to Dickon. Mega. You're an architect. You've been with us for quite a while. We could get him married as well. He is High Valerian. You know what? I'm going to give it to you, Mega. Um, I'm going to get you married if we have any High Valerians. No, okay, you can, I'll just give it to you, then you can do whatever you want, then. Saroy, congratulations. And he now has his own dynasty, uh, Dalmiros. 
Very good. I could probably deal with my cat. I need to get this one married and whatnot. Uh, some of you are kind of unhappy I granted it to that other guy. I mean, it's not its not worthy of you, my family. And a physician. He is a renowned physician, but he is annoying as hell. Maybe we should go search for a physician. Let's go recruit a physician then. Yeah. Uh, this guy. He's going to say it probably shouldn't be you. Or Bello. Let's make him it. Get him to like us a bit. Yeah. Okay, you're doing that. Chief General. Good, good, good. Everything's fine. I'll let her rot. Okay. Now we should get a new physician. Let it be known that I'm searching for a new court physician. What will we find? Uh, Queen R Miranda's inherited Castle of Harbottle. Wasn't that... No, it's from here. Why did he have that if he's a black... Oh, no, he was sent to the Night's Watch, and then she inherited it from him. Okay, that makes sense. Reports reach you about a ship that has just docked in Vades lands. The ship is called Storm of the Lord of Light, and on board resides the renowned physician, Nafafos, the Sea Devil, who is currently in the employ of the ship's captain. Okay. He's got pretty good learning, and we do need someone. I'll pay any price. I'll pay any price. There we go. Serve the court. I'm starting to think Quava might fancy me. The girl who betrayed us. I don't know. I am trusted, but by that trusting, I am authoritative. Maybe I'm. Maybe my ambition. I'm like, oh yeah, I can take the girl who possibly betrayed me, and his authority means he thinks he can do it. Let's just do it. Wait. She's a Soci Valerian, yeah, that's okay. It's good to be Emperor. What a weird event. Uh, I believe she's been in your custody for too long. Hmm. She did murder someone. I don't know. I don't think I should release her. She murdered someone, yeah. In fact, I should probably execute her for her crime. We should call her for trial. Do it. Illyria Azanti has demanded a trial before the court, which Lord Master or a called Dininian, Dinion shall oversee to ensure justice is served. At the start of the trial, she is formally accused of sedition and conspiracy against the realm, a charge brought by Emperor Urion. Okay. He made a reasonable case, and the verdict is of guilty. The council will lawfully decide the punishment. I'll be the better person and release her. The council will decide. You want... Oh, and I did not see what the marriage was. I was trying to click to see who they wanted to marry, and I accidentally clicked off it. Oh, well. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. Nothing we can do about that. Uh, Lorath is still out of it. What other factions? There's still quite a big independence faction. And... Yeah. Hazdan is still at Civil War. We really need to wait for them to finish. Though I'd thought Jacob to be a more reasonable man, his request to be able to duel Boquello was slightly erratic. I'll allow the duel. Magon does have a kid, Arion. Didn't you have a dragon egg? Did your son hatch it? No. I'm sure he had a dragon egg. Uh, constant fights and vicious pranks. My two children. Uh, Mela, now you are pranking with Daron. Daron has gone a bit older. He's got uh, a couple of mutton chops there. Obviously, he's still scarred from when, when I forced him to train all those years ago. His wife's not pregnant. How are you? She's not pregnant yet. And you still have not been able to hatch that stupid egg. What is wrong with you, my son? Ugh. What is wrong with these people? Stupid family. Then again, maybe it's just because, you know, maybe Erwin's just a bad educator. <laughs> you can only really blame himself for how his children are turning out, I'm guessing. Just make sure it is me. Six years old. Uh, Sean is impulsive and seems unable to tell right from wrong. What should I do with her? Uh, it's a strap for, yeah. You can't just do what you want. you got to do what you're told to do. Silly girl, follow our rules. The rules that I created. 
It's inherited the with the gates of the moon. Royce is over here. So it looks like they were able to defend themselves. Uh, my vassal has requested that he should be sworn to him directly rather than me. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. How's the summer's war going? Your wars are over. You should be going back to normal. But it looks as though the North is having its own trouble. War against this tyranny. Which would put his daughter in charge, Lady Aya. Who's your wife? Okay. Uh, a son was born to the Emperor. <gasps> and Quava. I had a bastard son. Should I legitimize him? I, I did, you know. Luceries I legitimized. Yes, legitimize him. Under my guidance, Shane is master in the art of swordsmanship. Ah, never child, at least. Okay. I mean, that that's okay. We have another kid, you know? It's another member of our dynasty. Continue the line. Oh, we lost the advisor. Uh, Pentos. Could be good. Get him on our side a bit, maybe. And who else? Maya? Bravos? No, we don't want a Bravos man on there. Asari. Let's make sure that he's on our side, yeah. He's a he's an important man. Asaria. The peasants of Draconis are quite far apart and spread out. Your master whispers, Dickon suggests invest in the provincial messengers. Ah yes, an excellent idea. And my child, Mela, who is weak, needs an education. He's good with money. He's good with money. Maybe thrift will be good for him then. See, yeah, he's, he's weak. We shouldn't really get him to be good for war. He's not going to be a king in the future, really, from what we can tell. So I think we should go for that, yeah. Okay, that'll be the one for him. Okay. Darren shows every sign of being infatuated with Siala. He follows her everywhere, and Siala seems equally smitten. What are you doing, my son? What is with you and your wife? Uh, ah, how sweet. Maybe it will pass. Separate them. <laughs> Separate them. How dare you? No, it's fine. They're, they're married. I mean, we allow you to invite to join our small gathering of friends. Hmm. You didn't come to my wedding. So that's kind of upsetting. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't. I have a prior engagement. I have to, uh, you know, clean my forehead. It's very dirty. Unlanded son. My son became a skilled steward. So he's only good at stewardship. That's basically all he's good for. Well, at least... Oh, and your wife's pregnant. At least he's good at having kids. That's one thing I can give him. Unlike my other son. <sighs> Ayla, how come you disappoint me every in every way? You keep disappointing me in every single way you could. This is ridiculous. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, his son is sick. That's bad. If he dies, because she's married to my son, that could end the dynasty. I grew more and more impatient. Hmm. I went to extreme lengths to avoid having to do any actual work. Oh, he does. His slothfulness is just terrible. Give him a stern talking to, yeah. I'm angry, I'm wrath. I was glad to hear Imperial Justice of Magister Orbello decided to amend his ways and start working hard. Good for you, sir. Okay, Hazdan is done. Are you kidding me? Winter fever? Uh, close the gates. God. Uh, just about to go to war. Seal it. Just about to go to war. And this happens. Absolutely ridiculous. Someone just died a very horrible way, it sounds like. Uh, has Dan. Dragon Conquest. Yeah, I think next... The thing is about my son, though. If I die, will my son be able to hold it together with Gaskari people under him? That's my biggest worry right now. He does have a lot... We do have a lot of money right now, I guess. We are making a lot of money at the moment. Let's do it, then. Offer vassal. Let's give him a chance. Offer vassalization. No. Okay, dragon conquest then. It shall be. They will honor their obligations. A couple of them joined us. Quite a few decided not to help. Non-participant. 
as you set the title. You probably receive word from the Skahazadan, great master, has led them to join a coalition in defense. Okay, okay, so actually, yeah, anyone can actually come and help them. It's not just a freehold. I thought maybe that was just a freehold mechanic, but actually, it's for everyone. Okay, so apparently, the Skahari people have been united in their hate towards us, and they're all joining. And actually, they took over Marine. Grandmaster Mazen the Cruel. Yeah, that's what they took over Marine and this one. So he's going to be quite strong, actually. We need to take care of these people before they get too strong. With our dragons, we can teach them a lesson. Okay, just the advisor slots. We've got to take out these people. Yeah, I thought that was maybe just a thing uh, against them, but apparently not. Fret is not on this one. Monthly Decay, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be on. I didn't actually know that. That's pretty cool to see. That does make things a bit more of a challenge. If you're doing Dragon Conquest and whatnot. I think that's really nice, actually. But I'm guessing you have to be the same culture. Because the Sarno didn't help them. But then again, these guys are not the same culture as well. Maybe it's the same... No. I'm not sure how that works. Maybe they've actually put it into it. Like, they've put certain types of cultures that can help each other. So, like, these ones or these ones. Maybe it's like De Jure Empire, then. People underneath the same De Jure Empire. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I like it that it actually works in this way. It seems to work quite nicely. So I'll see you in the next part. Next time we will fight basically the whole of the Gascari lands. Can they hold off this new empire, which is a reformation of the old empire, or will they burn as they've done before? We'll have to wait and see. I'll see you then.